I feel like it's time to get some Caribbean flavor going right. on. Little Randy's eat. taking us to Jamaica. <laughs> I love Jamaica. We love Jamaica. I love it especially when you can do a meal like a, a jerk pork tenderloin because a pork tenderloin already very easy. You're going to be able simple. to do this in 30 minutes. Yep with a side salad. It's that time of year where we're getting busy again, so we need to get everything on the table really quickly. Yeah. The pork tenderloin is a perfect protein because there's just a little bit of silver skin. It's super lean, um, it's not really expensive, and it's super easy to clean. I just get a nice paring knife here okay. and get under the silver skin, and honestly, you can do this in like, probably 32 seconds. Yeah, uh -huh. it's the simplest, right? it's such it's an easy cut thing. of meat. All the silver has to go, the white stuff can stay because the white is flavor, okay. and then you're good. And the other beautiful part about the protein is it's almost all one length. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna cook evenly, and then the tail piece is for that person that likes it well done. Yes. So give that to your mother-in-law. Right? <laughs> give the good parts for yourself. So good advice. We're gonna do a quick Jama a Jamaican jerk. Um, so in order to do like a quick marinade, like 20 minutes or something like that, then we yep. have to pack it full of flavor. So I wrote down all the ingredients on this on this plate here, this and is awesome. I want to do some fresh stuff. So we had fresh thyme, fresh parsley, chives, nutmeg, rose garlic, Scotch bonnet paste. If Hello. you're dealing with Scotch bonnets, make sure you get some rubber gloves on. Yes. yes. I kid you <laughs> not. <laughs> and like, you want to be very careful. Well, because you want me to deal with Scotch bonnets? I want to that way. I'm busy talking here. Right, this right, is right. what you need. Right. <laughs> That's what you need. And then we get some paprika, some cinnamon, and then some allspice. So allspice is the most important ingredient. Everyone thinks yeah. it's a bunch of different spices, but it's not. It's its own berry, and it's dried out. And it has it has kind of cinnamon and kind of uh, cloves and that kind of thing. And that's why people think it's a bunch of other stuff mixed okay. together because it's called allspice, but really it's just one spice. One question for you. So you are packing the flavor because this is a really quick marinade because we're yep. doing a 30-minute meal. If you want to do this the Jamaican way, yes. you can marinate. You can get let it sit in seasoning hours. for a while. And if you really want to be organized if you're doing this on on Wednesday do yeah. it Tuesday right and then we can cook it right yeah so we're gonna move forward we're gonna make a little salad with some some fresh corn some cucumber the boys are gonna knock down that just give me a tight dice on it guys about the same size as a corn kernel yeah sure add some so mint. Bossy. thank yeah. you very much kid. I know eh? <laughs> thank you come on give him an I'll even give you a please. <laughs> and then in order to like kind of give the the flavor a bit more in this salad what we're gonna do is take some pearl onions. Mm. We're gonna peel them and turn them in half. And I mean, like, they're kind of rustic looking. They're kind of pretty, the purple and stuff. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hit them in the pan with the flesh yes. down, right? Okay. Now, this is gonna be a quick pickle. It's only gonna take, like, maybe one minute. Okay. All right? So as those kind of sit there, I brought a white pan on purpose because I want you to see kind of the color it takes on. And if they're on the wrong side, try to flip them over a little bit. So what what is you what are you trying to do with those uh, with those onions, the pearl onions? So basically, we're just going to give it a little bit of color. We're going to start okay. to heat up, but because we're in a hurry and we're doing a quick pickle, like a 20-minute pickle. Okay. Then there we go. See. This is like a game. This is kind of like a game. You can get the kids involved <laughs> with this, right? <laughs> and then once you start to see color, we'll deal with those from there. Yeah, you flip them. All out. right. Okay. So we'll go back to our pork here. Basically, we're going to cut that in half, right? And then we're going to add it into our other pork here. Last of all, yes. could well. you very, very kindly kind of like massage that scotch bonnet paste hey, on the okay. pork tenderloins? Are you really you just using your hands now for the scotch okay. bonnet? Yeah, yeah. I'll do it, I'll do it. Listen, do once right. I, my dad put Max scotch right bonnet shit. on everything, okay. and on, like even on salad. So one day I took the knife and I just put it against Don't my lip. That. My lip was on fire. Right. Like my lip was like wagwan. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening here? Yes. yes. So please use the gloves. Use the gloves, and then because you really don't know where you put your hands in a day until yeah. you don't wear gloves. That's right. And then you're like, my eyes are burning. It's like, what is going on? My so God, you don't want any surprises later on in the day. Wear the gloves, right? Yeah. So as you can see, we're just starting to get a little bit of color on these pearl onions. All right. Right. And that's what we're after there. Oh, look at that. That's it. That's it. Thank that's you. it. Then you can remove that and maybe a little salt and pepper for me. Sure. Thank you so much, sir. Nice. So what we're going to do with the pearl onions on this? is simply put them into a bowl. Okay. Right? And you see there's nice caramelization there, right? And then red wine vinegar. And just mm. top it in. Oh, and yeah. give it a toss every three or four minutes or so. But what you're going to finish with, ready for this? Ooh, is look, look at the color now. So all of a sudden they're just popping with this beautiful color. And because you kind of separated them, they just kind of pop out like that. Nice. And that's just going to give our salad this like vibrant kind of like hit mm. of flavor and color. See, that's worth it. It doesn't take a lot of time to do that, but that's going to bump everything mm. up for your salad. Wow. Right? It really wow. takes it to the next level and we'll yeah. see it in the finished product. There you okay. go, Mama. We're ready to go. How's that pork going? looking? We're gonna go here. A little bit of foil, grill pan. Go. Two pieces, please. Yes, one. Two? Yeah, two. All right. There we go. 
Then if it's kind of a tractor. Now you want it medium heat because you don't want to sear it because the jerk does have a, a tendency to burn because the the garlic and the other things in there. Mm -hmm. You want to kind of get it caramely and crispy and kind of like that slow cooking kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah but just enough heat to kind of give it a little bit of crust. Mm. It's a lean. It's a lean meat, right? It is a lean meat, and for that reason too, we don't want to overcook it. So yeah. we basically want to sear on both sides into a 400 degree oven for like six minutes. Okay. And then we want to remove it and let it sit for another five before we cut it open. Got it. All right. Yep. Now you can take Perfection. a look at this gorgeous salad these boys made. There you go. Right? Not look at bad, this. guys. Instant. If you had the three chefs at home, you could make dinner in six minutes. <laughs> um, cucumber, corn. they got the chopped up mint in there. They've got the lemon zest. Lemon zest. Oh, my stars. Yeah. You know what else you need? A splash of olive oil. Yeah. And then you can do two things for the acidity. You actually add some of the onion vinegar in there, which is going to give you a little oh, bit yeah. more of a base for flavor. Mm -hmm. And then, Devin, if you could just give me a little squeeze of lemon in there. Absolutely. Like a little, hey, how you doing? Doing? Yep. Then we're good. So we, let's see how we're doing here. Oh That's my good. gosh. That's what so you're looking that for. That is what we're looking for right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. So we toss that in the oven. Another seven minutes, six, seven minutes, we're good to go, depending are on how thick it plate? is. Are we ready to plate? I think we're ready to go to the what plate. Is, you want to you use these guys? That's where we're going to go, secretly. Yeah. Massimo. Yes, sir. Just give me a nice line right down the middle. Really simple. Right down the middle. Yeah, we're going to pretend it's like, you know, Tuesday night. The felt this household right down the middle like that. We take our pork tenderloins. I want to eat it. You ready? Feltus's house. You want to eat at Feltus's house? No one plates like that for me. Three. And this is a really Very simple double. element. Oh my stars. Remember Beauty. I said don't overcook it? Yep. Still wow. tender in the middle, crispy on the outside, <laughs> right? Perfect. There we go. Oh, yeah. And then we take a little bit of the fresh meat. I can't bones. feed my children like that. They'll be spoiled. Right. <laughs> Imagine they'll expect that on a Monday night all the That's time. Perfect, bro. That looks incredible.